right guys, this is your boy Hellraider here, bringing you episode 5 right. of the best weapon series in Black Ops 3. Uh, this episode will be about the Vesper submachine gun. If you don't know anything about the Vesper yet, all you need to know is it's a bullet hose. It will oh, spam bullets faster than any gun in the game. Uh, it very closely resembles the Scorpion from Black Ops 2. And I would also say this gun has probably the fastest time to kill because of how quickly it can fire bullets. This gun is a great contender in the game and is justifiably probably the best submachine gun maybe compared to the VMP which is a close second but yeah the Vesper is definitely one of the better submachine guns in the game. The iron sights are smooth, the recoil is mostly vertical so it's pretty easy to control. It fires very fast so you can win gunfights even though you shouldn't <laughs> the hip fire is pretty tight and even if the hip fire wasn't that tight you're firing so many bullets so quickly they're still gonna get railed either way the vesper for attachments uh, mostly I use this as a uh, silent stealth weapon which since the the range is also the lowest on the submachine gun you're not really hurting it for damage so you can get around the map pretty easily um, I use what was it, silencer, silencer grip, and at one point fast mags because I was just ex you'd have to reload pretty much after every other kill or not. Um, the other way to play this is to put on long barrel, uh, fast mags, not fast mags, long barrel, extended mags, and grip. You will always need a grip with this gun. Grip is always suggested. I would always suggest fast mags too because you are reloading almost every other kill, maybe every two kills, because of how quickly the ammo is uh, extinguished from this weapon. This is possibly the greatest rush weapon in Black Ops 3 right now because there's no other gun that can really compete with its fire rate. They can only compete with its range. Since this submachine gun is supposed to be a close range weapon, you can get outranged by some assault rifles, but anything within submachine gun range or shotgun range, they, are, they shouldn't win. If they won, that's because you have bad accuracy or don't know how to put bullets downstream. This gun is amazing for all close range of combat, and even if you can if you can control it, long range combat still breeze too. You can pick off people pretty easily because of uh, how the recoil pattern set up. Once you start firing into them, it'll just raise to a headshot, and you'll be able to take them out like nothing. My overall class setup with perks and everything, I ran one with long barrel and grip, one with uh, silencer and grip. The perks were. Ghost, because I perma unlock Ghost after my first prestige. If not Ghost, I would use uh, Sixth Sense, obviously, because that's another good perk. Uh, your middle tier perk, uh, Lightweight's great. Not Lightweight, it's called Fast Hands now. Fast Hands is a great perk to rush with, because you, know, you can always pull your gun out faster and take people out that much easier. Another perk that should definitely go in that slot, because of how the weapon fires and how quickly it expends ammo is scavenger scavenger will never be a bad perk for this weapon more often than not i found myself going on a kill streak and a tear and just running out of bullets and having to uh figure out some other weapon i had to use <laughs> like right here i ran out of bullets so i had to pick up this kid's gorgon <laughs> anyways uh Blast Suppressor and Tack Mask would always be my uh, third perks. Uh, Blast Suppressor, depending on the map, you don't have to use, but Tack Mask is always great because you can run there and just eat concussions, eat fucking tactical grenades, and just mess people up. And even if you maybe <laughs> concuss yourself by accident, you can still move pretty freely. Uh, grenades wise, Semtex, concussion, maybe not even a Semtex, just throw one concussion on there. This gun is a great rushing gun, I suggest it. It's probably the overall best submachine gun in the game. Um, only seconded by the VMP in my opinion. If you guys enjoyed this video, or have any other questions, maybe other class setups, um, I'd be willing to answer them, you know, down in the comments, whatever, whatever. Uh, the thing I'm working on currently right now, as you can see I'm going through all the submachine guns, I'm trying to get uh, diamond submachine guns. And right now, all I'm waiting on is the Pharaoh, and I'm waiting on it because I'm not a high enough level to unlock the six attachments. So, so far, I have everything gold except for the Pharaoh. Hopefully, by the end of this weekend, I'll be having diamond submachine guns and move on to the assault rifle category. If you guys like these videos, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe. This is your boy, Hellraider, signing out. Sorry, that was super loud, but... Ooh, no perks, though?
I'm sorry, I was very... Whenever I stop talking, that's like my focus button. Like, I'm doing really well. So, that's... I apologize, but... Get back to boot camp. I fucking look dope, man. I fucking look so dope. Uh, Vesper, no perks. 23 and 2, 2 Cerberuses. The fuck is life? I picked up some kid's Gorgon, though. That Gorgon's still fucking good. I don't care what people say.